Mr. 260 just got beat by Mr. 160. Bradley Martin had uh, a bit of a friendly wrestling match with a local at his gym who's roughly half the size of Bradley Martin. Now, anybody that knows about Bradley Martin is he's a big, strong guy, lifts a lot of weights and went kind of viral for at first challenging certain fighters, but then jokingly continued to do it with other fighters who were even big enough to be a little bit ludicrous to even mention, you know, but with guys like Devin Haney and Demetrius Johnson, they're so much smaller than him that he might have believed it made it quite interesting of how small a professional fighter can get to be a big, strong gym goer and Bradley Martin is very athletic as well. He stands around like, what, 6'3", 260 pounds. Devin Haney's like 5'9", maybe 165 pounds. Demetrius Johnson's 5'3", maybe 140 pounds. And it didn't even take a professional fighter to do it. It took a guy who obviously had some training in wrestling. You could definitely see it from his technique. I'm guessing a collegiate wrestler. He seems actually pretty good. And he claims to be 160 pounds, which is a lot smaller than Bradley Martin. And he's challenging Bradley to take him down. I'm 160 pounds. Take it down. 100 dollars. I'll put money on it. I don't need 100 dollars. 260, Bradley. 260. Come on, Bradley. And Bradley Martin hits him with a kind of a cheap shot of a grappling move where he tried to snap the head down and might even have gone for a trip here. You can't really see it from the camera, but the way that his body moves and the way that the wrestler falls, it looks like Bradley tried to trip him out without him noticing. But little did he know, 160 here countered very well and showed actual decent technique. He went straight to a wrestler's single leg takedown, and this is a much better technique to use against a bigger opponent in order to tear their leg down one at a time. If you attack him with a double leg straight out like this, it could be pretty difficult because of the resistance of the size of the opponent it could be a little too much. So he attacks the single leg immediately. And what does Bradley Martin do? A thing that a lot of people who don't have much training in wrestling will do. He grabs around his body, he leans over the wrestler's body, and body locks him. The reason why is he has an instinct to pick his opponent up, and the best way he can pick up the other guy here is by grabbing around the body and lifting. He actually tries it, but he does not pay attention to his position at all. He's getting attacked by a single leg. He's gonna sit back a bit, squat before he lifts. And Mr. 160 goes and hooks around the leg with his own. So he's gluing himself to Bradley Martin. He cannot be lifted from here. Both his right leg and his arms are tied around that one left leg. So nothing can be really lifted from here. His legs cannot be elevated off and his arms cannot be pulled off as well. And this is a perfect example for someone like Bradley Martin that's been training for so many years, lifting very heavy weights that he can't even pick up a 160 pounder, someone hooking onto your leg like this. This is someone who was able to deadly live like 765 pounds without a belt but he can't pull off a 160 pound person off of his leg this is the perfect example of why technique is so important and as Bradley Martin lifts very quickly he's throwing momentum backwards and it's going to allow Mr. 160 to drive forward and trip out that leg to the side Bradley Martin's only balancing on his two feet so if one of them gets tripped out he's gonna fall that same direction it's like if you kick out one of the legs of the chair the chair's gonna fall on the side where the leg was kicked out same kind of thing here. They landed pretty hard. Bradley Martin landed on top of 160. And from there, he goes for the double leg now. So instead of hooking around one leg, he's going for both legs. While Bradley Martin is sprawling on top of him, putting all of his weight on top, and he's not letting go of the body. He's not going to let go of the thing that he knows best to lift the opponent up. So he's not going to let go of that grip around the body. But the mistake of doing this is he's not putting enough pressure on top of Mr. 160. So allows him to get his footing, one foot on the mat, and from there, he's able to scoot his knee in word getting under Bradley Martin which is a very dangerous thing to let a wrestler do to you by the way you never want a wrestler to get completely under you like this because now they have a lot of driving force off of their legs to explode even if he is almost half the size of his opponent. Bradley Martin doesn't really have too much control and Mr. 160 moves his head to the left and drives it forward once it gets on the outside of the body position here. Look how his head is on the left side of Bradley Martin's hip. From there he's able to drive forward and rotate to the right by pulling that leg with his right arm that he has on the other side and it forces Bradley Martin to let go of one of his hands. Now notice how he doesn't have both hands around the body. He has to post with that left hand on the ground, or he will be taken down if he doesn't do so. It's an instinct. So both of them rise up to their feet, and Bradley Martin again grabs around the body. He should be trying to get his arms under his opponent, not over his opponent in this case, because he's leaning too much over him. It's giving him too much leverage to work with when you lean over someone like this. But Mr. 160 is pulling in on that right knee and trying to force his entire weight and Bradley Martin's over it. 
where he's trying to tumble him over that side as he slides, pivots, and rotates his legs around and nearly gets the takedown there. Bradley Martin posts on the ground yet again. And he goes for the same lift. He's trying to lift his opponent up, but it's not going to work. And notice how much harder he's trying to lift him here. His body's all the way leaned back compared to what he did before. Notice the first time he tried to lift him, he wasn't leaning his upper body back like this. Similar motion to like a bad deadlift form where you're leaning back as you pull the weight up. Right? He's using a lot of his back in order to lift the other guy. And a big reason as to why he wasn't able to lift his opponent completely up and try to powerbomb him or something was because his left leg is still tapped in. His left leg is still pulled inward. And the wrestler here has his head on the left side as well. So when Bradley Martin tries to pull him up, his left leg is kind of giving out. He doesn't have enough balance or strength in that left leg. So all the weight tumbles to that side. And the wrestler is able to plant his feet on that side because of it. And here you could definitely see he has a lot of strength as well because when he landed on his feet, notice how that right arm of his is extended. It's not hooked around and tight. It's extended farther out. The more extended your arm is, the weaker the grip is going to be. But he's still able to get this takedown. Bradley Martin's on that left knee and the wrestler secures the double leg takedown. He drives forward, gets around him, and Bradley Martin goes to grab around the body again. For some referees in wrestling, this would be two points. His butt is on the ground, his knees on the ground, his hands on the ground. When it comes to securing takedowns and wrestling, you know, refs will do different things because it's all about control, but control is such a vague term. It can mean many different things, and refs are going to be looking for different things because of it. But yeah, you could definitely say this was absolutely a takedown for the wrestler, who was roughly half the size of Bradley Martin. And you could definitely see the, the difference in technique between the two. Bradley Martin doesn't really know what to really do against such simple techniques that's learned even in high school. And I think it's a very important education video to show you the importance of technique versus size. Technique is going to win most of the time, even if you're 260 pounds. And you should get the advantage when it comes to grappling because you're able to use your strength and resist with your size much better than if it was like a striking sport right? With striking sports, you pack on more power, but any single punch can put you out as well. The human anatomy is not meant to take blows to the head, even by smaller people. With wrestling, at least there isn't that kind of shock factor of getting KO'd out of nowhere. You always have the ability to use your athleticism, use your strength, use your size against someone who's much smaller and also could even be more technical. But this is only true if both the big guy and small guy are somewhat trained or the big guy is the size of the mountain or something extraordinary. But the technique difference between these two with 100 pounds of difference was way too vast for someone like Bradley Martin to handle. And I think this puts to rest all the I'm too big for these 140 pound fighters debate. I think that puts it to rest because if this guy is doing this to Bradley Martin, could you imagine Demetrius Johnson? Demetrius Johnson is 20 pounds less. He's like 140 pounds and he's arguably one of the greatest martial artist in the world. He's arguably one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time. I'm just kidding. The truth of the matter is Bradley Martin weighed 259 that morning. He wasn't full power. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. And if you did, make sure to give this a video a like. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.